Hi friends, I'm Felicia. Welcome here. It's been a bit and apparently it just got cloudy. Sorry about the shadow, but um, hi, it's been a while and I just wanted to come in, in, come here and show my face, straighten out my necklace. And yeah, so it's been a while. I have posted one video this year so far and it just, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. I just wasn't in the mood for filming. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just got out of the habit and then the longer I didn't do it, the more I didn't want to. Um, you know, when you don't do a monthly wrap up, um, I've read a lot of books <laughs> and now I have so, uh, five months of books to talk about. Um, and I don't know how I want to do it. I've read a lot of good things that I would like to talk to you about, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do now, but I've, <laughs> but at the same time I want to come back. So I'm not going to let that bother me. I just saw Rogue. She walked past. I haven't seen her since I got home from work. She's alive. Good. <laughs> so did he miss this rambly distracted person? It is today is June. 7th. There's something in the air that's really bothering my allergies. My throat is really sore today. Um, it's been hot. It has been so hot. It's been terrible. Um, my birthday was last Sunday on the May, on May 28th and it was hot and I was like, why does it have to be hot on my birthday? It's not supposed to be hot on my birthday. It's supposed to rain on my birthday but it didn't um but it rained today uh it rained all morning which was just glorious like I can't even convey to you how happy that made my heart it was so good and it rained until just about exactly noon right when I left for my lunch break so that was a bit of a bummer but it is cooler now like we've literally literally been having heat warnings um, the feels like a temperature is over in the thirties. It's just been awful. Um, <laughs> I don't do well in the heat. I don't like it. Um, and that looks to be like what our summer is shaping up to be is very hot. So yay. She said sarcastically. Um, so what else have I been up to? I mean, like nothing is different. I need to trim my bangs. That's typical when I come talk to you. So what have I been up to? Um, well, my birthday was last week. It was really nice. Um, I should show you what I got for my birthday from Christopher. Um, I got a really nice fountain pen, but I think I'm actually going to film a video about that. Um, so part of the reason why I want to come back to making videos is because I have been watching lots of fountain pen and ink content like I'm really into that right now and because I'm make I'm watching so much of it I want to also make it um it's just fun for me playing with fountain pens and inks it's very much fun and I have a big haul <laughs> coming in from Ghouli pens it is it takes so long to get anything from them like I, I remember when things used to take four to six weeks and now it like is long, more than a week and I'm like why don't I have it why don't I have it yet um come on Goulet uh I think they're based in New Jersey and it usually takes me about two weeks to get anything from them and it's just like agonizing because I just I'm so excited to play with all of my things I ordered a pen that I wanted um, Goulet Pens, if you subscribe to their newsletter, they give you a, um, a code for a free eight pack of sample inks for your birthday. So I got that. So I have eight ink samples and then I ordered three ink bottles and four more samples or something like that. six more samples. 
I don't know. I just have like a ridiculous amount of ink coming. So I will be doing an unboxing video and probably like a sw and swatching. I don't know if that'll be, that'll be the same video. That's boring just to do an unboxing. So I'll be swatching those inks as well and showing you my new pen when they get here. So you can look forward to that. I mean, I have been doing a lot of reading. I have read some really good stuff that I would really like to talk to you about. Um, been doing a lot of knitting, writing letters. I'm back into writing letters along with the fountain pens. Um, that's what I use them for a lot is writing letters and yeah, kind of getting back into post crossing. I don't know if you're familiar with post crossing. Um, basically you send random postcards to random people in the world and then you get postcards from random people in return and it's great. I've been doing it since I was a teenager so I don't even know what year I started maybe 2005 or 6. It's a lot of fun. <sighs> oh my word. I just like I just wanted to come and let you guys know I'm still alive. I'm doing good. The other day Arion messaged me and she's like are you okay like just checking in and I'm like I'm good I just I'm busy with other things and there was actually a bit there when I was like I'm just I'm gonna film a video and tell you guys that I'm not coming back to YouTube like taking an indefinite break and then as soon as I told myself I could do that then that like released me from the pressure and now I feel like I can come back which is weird I don't know how my brain works um, but also, you know, just got to follow the dopamine. So I feel like maybe doing YouTube again will give me dopamine. I guess maybe I'm feeling like a little bit bored and I just want to like talk to people about stuff that I'm like into right now. I don't know. That makes sense, right? You guys get it. Uh, but yeah, I'm waiting for Chris to come home for, from work. And then we're gonna go out to eat tonight um and yeah i don't know what else but i figured since i'm here i'll also tell you what i'm currently reading and then you can tell me like how i should do this book catch-up thing i don't know probably like i did last time probably genres is what i'm gonna do maybe maybe i i don't know we'll see anyways so today okay so i am listening to one audiobook right now. I'm listening to Canadianity by Jeremy Taggart and Jonathan Torrens. And this was a book that I got for free on Audible like years ago already. I think it was like for free with Audible Canada's second anniversary. I think that's what they were doing. So that's how long I've had it. Um, Jeremy Taggart used to be the drummer in the band Our Lady Peace and Jonathan Torrance has been on a lot of Canadian TV shows um but the staple for my childhood that he was in uh he used to be on, on the show Street Sense which I like don't even have any memories about but I like I remember just loving that show. I think every Canadian person my age watched that show. Um, anyway, so they apparently have a podcast about being Canadian. Maybe, I don't know what their podcast is about. I think maybe this. Um, and this book is just like them telling stories about Canadian things and places and restaurants and experience that they, experiences that they've had. And it's been a fun listen so far. Um, and they kind of have, I think a lot of the chapters are lumped by province. So I haven't listened to the Manitoba chapter yet, but looking forward to it. Um, so I'm listening to that and it is good. Whenever <laughs> any Office fans, please tell me if you're an Office fan, because I think about this a lot. There's an episode where I don't remember what the other plot line is, but Jim and Pam have this thing going on with Pam's parents and they're, Pam is really distressed about it and they're watching this weird movie with Andy. Like it's the one, <laughs> there's a movie where Jack Black falls in love with Cloris Leachman or something. 
Anyway, so they're watching this movie with Andy. Andy has no clue what's going on, but they're like talking about this stuff with Pam's parents, and Andy thinks they're talking about the movie. And then in the, eh, I forget what they call it, but like when they're doing their little side interview thingies, and then he's like, I don't think I could be a movie critic because I just don't get it. But he's like, I could be a food critic. And then he's like, that food is bad. Or that art is bad. Like, that's basically what I just told you this whole story for was to set up that. So when I talk about books and I'm like, that book is bad, then I feel that book is good. And then I feel like Andy Bernard from The Office. <sighs> Sorry for that long and winding tale. Sorry, by the way, if it's really loud, I don't know what noise is going to be picked up. There's like three fans and an air conditioner going in our house, so it's just loud. Storm's here. She just arrived and had to announce her presence. All right, on my Kindle. Oh, uh, there. I'm reading The Huntress of Thorn Huntress of Thornbeck Forest by Melanie Dickerson. Um, Melanie Dickerson is basically my Kindle staple. Uh, years ago when I used to subscribe to BookBub, then I would buy her books anytime they were on sale. And so I have amassed a collection of them and now I'm actually reading them and they're just like the perfect thing when I can't sleep in the middle of the night or when I'm just falling asleep. And yeah, so I'm enjoying it. It is a good story. And this one is actually not a fairy tale retelling as far as I can figure. So it's like, I don't know where the story's gonna go. So it's fun. Um, then I'm reading uh, All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols and she is an artist and a poet and she actually is also a singer and she has some songs on Spotify if you wanted to listen to them. Um, yeah this is just a book of her poetry and art and I just really like it so I just pick it up when I need to read a few pages you're being so neat. Storm is being so neat right now. But yeah, like I just really like it and I find it really her art make or her art. Her art makes me feel nice. <laughs> Good. Her poetry is very I don't know. It just like it does nice on my brain. <sighs> That's as well as I'm going to be able to describe it to you. It just makes me feel like calm, centered maybe encouraged. I don't know. It's good. So there's that. Then I'm reading Home by Marilyn Robinson. Um, this is book two, the sequel to Gilead. And I bought this really nice edition. And now I actually bought all of them on Book Outlet. All four books in the series with these covers. So they match. They're beautiful. Um, I'm not very far. I'm on page 35. <laughs> so I still got a ways to go. And I am enjoying it. But I don't seem to be picking it up very much which I don't know okay so that's four books that I told you about um then these two are like books that I started last year I know I can't believe it um books that I started last year and just uh, just have been just completely on the back burner um so one of them is Shirley by Charlotte Bronte um and I am almost 200 pages in but it is still like look it's quite the chunk um, yeah, I started it during Victober last year and I might not finish it by Victober this year. So if that's the case, then I will continue to read it then. Um, I mean, I would like to finish it before then so I can start new things. Uh, but we'll see. Storm really wants attention right now. And then the other one, <laughs> Um, I started this in March last year, so it's been well over a year. Les Mis. <laughs> Les Miserables. That was awful. By Victor Hugo. I don't speak French. I'm sorry. I am on page 384. So that's only that far. Although this is appendices after this post-it. Um, I am actually reading this mostly on my Kindle because it is easier for me. And then I can look up the French words, what they mean. And all the footnotes there's a lot of footnotes um but yeah it is the same edition as this but yeah um rainy and i were buddy reading it last year and then we just didn't finish 
And now someone, I don't know who, she sent me this post on Instagram and I forget who's hosting it. Someone's hosting a Les Mis summer and there's a reading schedule. Actually, I took a screenshot, let me. Okay, on Instagram, Bookworm, Baggins, and Pixie Hallows. So I'm reading Les Mis and it is a reread for me. I read this a decade ago and it took me six months then and now apparently it's gonna take me a year and six months now. Um, but I do love it. Like it is an amazing story. And once I sit down and read it, I'm just like, this is fantastic. It's just all the extra bits for me. That's just kind of like, ah, uh, this is so boring. I'm not looking forward to the part about the sewers later because that's like literally 40 pages of sewers. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's everything that I'm reading. Yep. So now the matter of me coming up with some kind of content schedule because there is a lot of content that I want to film and put out into the world, <laughs> into the space. So we got books, what I'm reading, staple, always. Um, knitting, been knitting a lot. I would like to talk to people about my knitting more. It is outside screaming time now for the neighbors. Anyways, so you can just hear them yelling. Knitting content, <laughs> oh my word. Um, fountain pen stuff, currently inked, swatching, those kinds of things. Maybe pen pal with me or something or do post crossing cards with me, I don't know. These are ideas. These are all things that I'm really enjoying watching right now. So I just feel like I wanna get in there and make some of that content too. Maybe vlogs, reading vlogs, or just life vlogs, I guess, because I do other stuff. I used to do, um, I don't know what I called it, what I was watching, movies and TV. I would like to do that again, you know, cause watching movies and TV. It's so chaotic out there. All right, I'm gonna end now. <sighs> Let me know what you think about anything that I said. I've been talking to you, talking to you for quite a while, stumbling over my words, as per usual. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I hope that you have a good day. Let me know what you're reading. I would like to know. And yeah, so until next time, so long and thanks for the fish.